Yo, what's poppin'? I got my week two team builder of the WBE. Gonna talk about our team before we uh, before we fight our opponent here. And our opponent's gonna be Galactic Elliot, my boy. We did face him once before uh, last season of the WBE. We did pretty well. And, um, and yeah, so I'm excited to show you guys what I'm bringing this time. I got some heat. I got some uh, some fun sets. And we'll see how it does versus his team. His team consists of Copper Raj. Uh, not G-Max, though, just regular his G-Max is going to be Garbodor. That's going to be a big threat. Um, he also has Gastrodon, Glaceon, Haunter, Hydreigon, Ninetales, Raichu, uh, Togekiss, and Serena. So definitely a very interesting team. The first thing that I noticed is his only Stealth Rocker is Copper Raja. Uh, the only Stealth Rocker I have, of course, is Seismitoad. So I definitely thought that, um, you know, seeing that he only has one Stealth Rocker, maybe I don't really need Hazard Control um, just because I can run Heavy Duty Boots on things that are weak to rocks. Um, but also his team, it only has one rapid spinner. Tokus does not get defog currently, so he can't run that. His only way to remove hazards is through Serena. And if he's not running heavy duty boots on certain mons, I think Stealth Rocks would actually be really good in this matchup. So I, defi I definitely um, you know, considered that when building this team. Um, he has a lot of threats though, for sure. Like uh, I've never really faced a G-Max Garbodor before, but I know for a fact it has some pretty solid coverage moves which we'll get into. Uh, and I also see that he has some dangerous nasty plot users like Hydreigon and Togekiss and whatnot. Uh, and also Ninetales too. I think Ninetales also gets nasty plot still uh, doing a lot of work. Haunter does not get nasty plot even though Gengar does. For whatever reason, Haunter is not, it's just not nasty enough. <laughs> when it becomes Gengar, then it becomes really nasty, but thankfully only as a Haunter. Let's talk about our team now. Um, I started out with Mr. Rhyme just cause I figured, I looked at his team, right? He has Gastrodon. That thing is a problem. Like this thing, uh, that's one of the reasons I chose not to bring uh, Draco Zolt, um, just because he has a uh, a Gastrodon. So I didn't bring that. Uh, so I have Mr. Rhyme here as the first Pokemon, and uh, this thing actually is pretty fire because it has Freeze Dry, which obliterates Gastrodon, then Psychic as well, which uh, hits up that Garbodor, hits up Haunter and stuff, and then Focus Blast, which does some nice, nice damage to. Um, to, to uh, Copper Raja and uh, and things like that. I guess the main thing is just for uh, for Raj. But um, yeah, and then Slack off to heal ourselves. Heavy duty boots, so we never take damage from rocks. And then if he does have screens or something with Togekiss or so, or like another another Mon, we can screen clean it. Uh, last time, right? Uh, I think our opponent brought Reflect just because we have a lot of physical attackers. Nah, not today. Don't even think about that. We got Mr. Rhyme out here. <laughs> Uh, this is a very intricate EV spread that I'd like to talk about. I know this is these team builders are really just uh, for me to explain to you all my nice heat Chinese EV spreads here. Now this set right allows me to take a plus one gunk shot from uh, well a plus one uh, yeah plus one gunk shot from a Garbodor and the and the way that it could get into plus one is either through curse or if it goes for the max knuckle like a max fighting move which will boost its attack by one, it can live a hit. This thing can live a hit from that. Um, it also takes a Life Orb Dark Pulse from uh, from Hydreigon and a Specs Shadow Ball from Haunter, which is very, uh, very solid. This thing is very bulky in its bidef. Enough speed to outrun a uh, no speed Garbodor, like without any investment in that, which is actually what he brought last week. So I have that to outrun it. Um, and yeah, just, uh, just some good, solid, stats here for it to be able to take hits and do some decent damage back with its solid special attack our next mod is going to be gmax grimmsnarl i have to bring that again you already know grimmsnarl is uh just such a solid mod overall this time running a very similar set to last time this time without a resist barrier i'm running weakness policy he has way too many things to hit it super effectively like for instance with garbodor haunter even togekiss's dazzling gleam um in Gigantamax form from full, it can of course take a hit with max HP. This thing's HP stat doubles, base 95, becomes 404 HP in, in the level 50 format, which is crazy. But then if we activate our weakness policy, we have Stomping Tantrum, which becomes max Quake, boosting our Spadef versus uh, stuff like our special attackers that could actually, uh, you know, try to go for a special attack. We'll be tanking it better, activating our weakness policy, and it's fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to use this mod here. Bulk up three attacks. I think Stomping Tantrum is great because it hits Garbodor, it hits Copper Raja, it hits uh, all sorts of stuff. And then um, next we have Conkeldur AV with four attacks. Uh, this thing can sponge Hydreigons and stuff. It has also defense so, so that it can hit, um, so that it can take physical attacks 
in case that Hydreigon's like Dragon Dance, uh, like uh, Dragon Dance. Um, I've, I, I was uh, kind of theory building or theory mining sort of like I, I, in case he brought like a Dragon Dance Zen Headbutt Hydreigon, I'll be able to take the hit still at like plus one or something, even with like Life or Batman or whatever, Drain Punch it back and Mach Punch. So, I mean, AV Conk is just fantastic in this matchup. Seismitoad, Chinese Seismitoad here with the Chinese Eevee Spread. Look at this thing. Nice uh, max, almost max HP, right? We have 244 HP, 20 attack, 44 defense, 180 speed def, and 12 speed to match Grimmsnarl as well as uh, Mr. Rhyme. This Pokemon will, uh, of course, outrun the uh, no speed uh, Garbodor. This sponge just hits from... Uh, from like a Spex Hydreigon, it could take a hit from that. It could take a hit from a lot of stuff actually. Mainly, uh, you know, we have the Rindo Berry here to take the grass hit from potential Garbodor or a Cupra, just Power Whip or something. Any kind of grass move we can take, get up rocks, live a hit maybe, fire off an Earthquake or an Ice Punch. Toxic is nice to break down fatter stuff like uh, Gastrodon and things, so I have that. And we have the Water Absorb as well. Uh, then we have Arcanine for the team. Once again, I have to bring back Arcanine. This thing is a, this, this, this thing is a beast, this thing is a monster. Hitting up a, uh, a lot of Pokemon for heavy damage with the heavy duty with the heavy duty boots along with that, uh, you know, uh, it, it's nice because it doesn't take rocks damage along with uh, Mr. Rhyme, Flare Blitz hitting really hard with max attack, enough speed to outrun Togekiss, which uh, we don't want to get flinched down. That thing is like the biggest threat to our team. Togekiss is a fantastic Pokemon, used it before, uh, just a, a a really menacing threat because it can just spam Air Slash, which is annoying. Uh, so as long as we can break through that stuff, we'll be fine. Uh, but I have like, oh, this is actually wrong. This should be Morning Sun. I don't know why it was like that. But yeah, anyways, Flare Blitz, Close Combat, Extreme Speed, Morning Sun. Morning Sun to heal ourselves up. Uh, close Combat for Hydreigon. E Speed for Priority, which is which could be uh, pretty useful. And then finally, my last Pokemon here is going to be a Scavalier, which is there with uh, Shell Armor this time. He doesn't really have anything for um, activating Overcoat. So I just ran Shell Armor, armor so that I don't get crit. And then, uh, of course, we have moves such as uh, Iron Head Knockoff is fantastic with Swords Dance so that we can break through fatter stuff. Uh, but then I have Counter and a more defensive variant set here because of the fact that I want to hit uh, G-Max Garbodor for as much damage as possible. Now, G-Max Garbodor does not have any fire coverage, which is nice, allowing me to be able to sponge hits a lot better. So it takes about like three hits for Garbodor to knock out Escavalier with like a max uh, max knuckle getting a plus one, max knuckle again, or just going for two max quakes after that with using stomping tantrum. That's the only way that it can knock this thing out. Um, other than that, we can sponge hits decently well uh, from it and try to stall it out of G-Max so that the rest of our team can just uh, take it out uh, afterwards. Since it's not a really fast mod, but it does have options to be fast. Uh, so we got to watch out for it, but that's going to be the team. Um, overall, like we have... Uh, answers to I think most of his team if not all uh, just a lot of his more offensive setup threats can be very very threatening so as long as we keep rocks up we put things in range of a lot of uh, damage rolls that we have like uh, rocks just guarantee a lot of those uh, attacks like sucker punch from Grimm's so plus one um, it does it occurs a lot more things after a rock or so or so same for uh, like a flare blitz or um, I don't know st like stuff like that basically is what it does but um but yeah it's gonna be the squad i ran flash fire and arcanine over intimidate this time just because he has like nine tails flamethrower uh togekiss could be an option versus a scav so i want like a way to boost the damage of flare blitz because flare blitz hits up everything really really hard um gastrodon is broken down by rhyme rhyme getting rid of gastrodon really opens up arcanine and then if arcanine is opened up then you know if we like break through stuff then for instance um it opens up Maybe, maybe Grimmsnarl, maybe uh, Conk or something like that. I don't know. It, it does a lot of work. It sort of revolves around each other. But that's going to be the squad. I'll uh, see you guys for the match real soon. Got to gotta get into that. It's getting late for me, so I got to play this real quick. I'll uh, see you guys on the match uh, and queue into that right now. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? I am here today for WBE Week 2 versus my boy Galactic Elliot. I think he's the coach of the uh, Chicago Cub Chews. And it's about that time to get right into it. Uh, it's a little bit of a late match just because we had some scheduling conflicts. But I have a pretty heat team, as you guys have seen. And I'm hoping that we can uh, put in the work, of course. Once again, live comm. So hopefully <laughs> I can pay attention more. Um, yeah, let's, get, get, let's get right into it. Let's, uh, let's see what he's bringing here. I have my team builder open as well. So 
We can kind of see what he has. Ooh, he brought Haunter. Okay, so let me put my my thing down here. Haunter, Togekiss. Oh, he's got threats though. He's got threats on threats. Hydreigon. It's a pretty scary matchup actually. Um, he also has Agent Raj, G Max Garbodor, and. Glaceon. Alright, I didn't think he'd bring the Glaceon though versus me. Um, but the other five, I was kind of expecting. Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, I think what we can do... I don't see what's wrong with leading off with like Seismitoad or something, getting up rocks. Rocks are actually kind of nice. They put a lot of things in range of my other attacks. So I'm going to lead up with my Chinese Seismitoad here. So like the only thing I'm really scared of is if he if he tries to set up turn 1. Like a, a turn 1 setup, it just, it's so bad. But like as long as that doesn't happen, we should be fine in this game. Uh, Togekiss is one of the biggest threats to my team. Especially since my electric type Draco Zolt kind of uh, has trouble with uh, Dazzling Gleam. So I didn't bring it this time. But I think Elite Seismitoad is good. I have Rindo Berry on it too. And then I have to, I have to watch out for the timer as well. Um, this time around. So we'll see how it goes. So he leads off with the... Uh, the Elephant. Okay. So this thing could as well have Power Whip. Which I have to watch out for. Um... But I think rocks are fine. I don't know if I can live with Rindo Berry or not, but... Like I said, I think rocks are worth it. He didn't bring Gastrodon. That's huge. Okay, okay. That's what I noticed. He didn't bring Gastrodon. That's fantastic for um, for something like Arcanine. So I'm going to set up rocks here. He could also be a defensive uh, Copper Raj. Yeah, he does have Power Rip. I wonder if I live this, because I did EV it to live certain ones. Yep, I live. Nice, nice, nice. So rocks are up, which is great. He does not have any hazard control that he brought, so I can get off a big chunk with um, Earthquake here. I think he's going to be the play. And getting off damage is really nice. So this leads me to believe that, of, of course, when he went for the Power Whip, it shows that he's not Life Orb, so that's good. So we get off a big Earthquake here. That does a lot of damage. Ooh. Yep, not a crit either, so that's good. So we do lose Seismitoad, but it did what it did best. Uh, the Chinese set was able to, with the EV spread we had, tank the uh, the Power Whip from Copper Raja. And... Um, and that's what we needed. So here I'm just going to go into my Arcanine. I think he's the play. His only switch in is Hydreigon. So Arcanine here can... I mean, I could Flare Blitz. I could also Close Combat. I think Flare Blitz is better overall. Just because of the fact that uh, it allows me... I guess, I mean, it does not let me lower my defenses or anything in case he does decide to sack here. So I'm just going to go for the uh, the Flare Blitz. And this is also good too because this also um, is one Pokemon that does not... or it, Because it's gone, it's not going to wall... Uh, it's not going to take a hit from Mr. Rhyme. Even though I have Focus Blast, it's not an Oko. So yep, he's X. Uh, so goodbye, Copper Raja. This was also his potential stealth rocker, so that's also gone uh, as well. I'm really glad he didn't bring Gastrodon. Okay, maybe he just didn't bring it because he didn't think I'd bring uh, Dracozolt. But if I brought Dracozolt, oof, oof, it would have been, uh, been too clean. So I wonder what he's going to go into now. Um, 
Garbodor is definitely something that we have to play around. I designed my Escavalier to, I guess, live some hits from it so that it can at least stall it out of uh, some of the turns. So he goes into Cerberus, that is uh, Hydreigon. So versus this, like I don't know if he's going to U-turn or not. He could also, he could Dark Pulse, he could drop a Draco as well. Um, as long as he's not Specs or like something, I could, I mean I could easily go here into um, AV Conkelder, which I think is going to be the play. So I'm going to go Conk here. It should sponge the hits uh, decently well. I could also stay in with Arcanine, but I want Arcanine because it's faster. I want to keep it healthy because it's faster than Togekiss. Allows me to check that, um, which is very dangerous. So he could also Dark Pulse here too. I don't know if he's going to drop a Draco or not, but another good play of his would be to go for a U-turn. So that's another uh, decent play that he could do. But let's see what he does. Oh, he pulls a double into um, Togekiss. Okay, good play. He does take rocks though, which is really good for us. And he seems to be leftovers. So this is not an offensive set. I could just burn a turn here. Like I could take a hit, obviously. Um, I could just go for an ice punch in case he decides to try to click T-Wave or something. Although I, I do risk staying in and getting flinched. <laughs> I definitely do. But because I'm AV, I mean, Ice Punch doesn't seem like a bad play right now at this point in time, just because I am at full HP. But if I do get, um, you know, if he does decide to, you know, keep getting Air Slash, then we'll see. I do take the hit. Ah, I do break through though. Okay. That's pretty good. So I think I am going to switch out though, uh, into, I could go Arcanine, I could also go into um, Mr. Rhyme. He actually does not seem to have a lot for Mr. Rhyme. I actually had this for Gastrodon, so I'm going to go into it actually. Maybe I shouldn't have taken all that damage on uh, Kong or anything, but I thought he might like predict it or something. We'll take this much better though, I think. So now this threatens him out, which is good. Um, I don't see why I can't just click freeze dry. He's only switching his Glaceon, but if that does not have any heavy duty boots, it will take rocks chip damage. So I'm gonna freeze dry here. He doesn't know that I'm more a defensive set. So this Togekiss could possibly be faster than me. Um, but I don't know if he'd want to risk it. Yeah, he does not decide to risk it here. Um, I, I assume that he's going into Glaceon. Yeah, Glaceon comes in. Does it take rocks? Uh, I don't think it takes rocks. Oh, it does take rocks. So he's not running heavy duty boots. Which is great. Um, that's fantastic. Good damage on this. Don't see an item, so it could be choice specs. Uh, I mean, Excadrill could switch in here potentially. Which would not be bad at all. So I think I'll go into Drill... Sorry, not Excadrill, sorry. Escavalier. I named it Escadrill because it's a pun. I'm falling for my own puns. Um, but it, I don't think Glaceon has a fire move. Glaceon should not have a fire move here, so I can go into this. I think the best thing it has to hit it with is Shadow Ball. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Shadow Ball. Let's see how much damage this does. It does... Let's see. That's Choice Specs Glaceon, I think. Um, so that's good information. Does he have an Iron Head switch in? No, he does not. So we will just go for the Iron Head here. I am weakening. I am weakening my Escavalier, which is kind of bad for uh, versus Garbodor, but getting rid of Glaceon's great as well. Togekiss comes in super weak too because it's at about 50, which is really good for us, I think. Um, yeah. He could go Garbodor here too. So 
So I think Grimmsnarl is going to be once again our late game uh, Pokemon that we'll put in the work. Shadow Ball is here. That's fine. Uh, we'll take this. Ironade here to knock this out. And Glaceon's gone. So that's fantastic. Um, so he's got a weakened Togekiss, Hydreigon Haunter, and Garbodor. We're still at a decent amount of health to at least stall Garbodor out for a couple turns. I assume if he goes into anything like Hydreigon or Togekiss, he's or well, he's kind of forced to go for like a fire move if he goes Hydreigon. Just because he risks an attack. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what he does though. Like I said, you know, G-Max can definitely turn around games entirely. As you saw from my last week's game, um, <laughs> G-Max Grimstone put in the work last game. Um, but he goes into Togekiss. Okay. Uh, interesting. So he will take Rock's damage, of course. I'm going to go hard into um, Arcanine to threaten him. I, I do like Arcanine here because of the fact that if he goes for Flamethrower, I get a Flash Fire boost. If he goes for Air Slash... I don't take as much because I I know for a fact, or at least I think for a fact that he is more defensive, I think. I don't know. I, I mean, I, it's, it's leftovers. Oh, he goes for a wish. Okay. I don't, I don't know if he's wish protect or not. But he's air slash wish. Could be wish protect. I don't know why he would wish in front of an Escavalier. Um, Flare Bliss is my play, either way. Flare Bliss definitely knocks it out. He could go Hydreigon though, which would be a nice play as well. But then this thing is super weak after that because of the uh, the Stealth Rocks. Yo, Wi-Fi Battle Live comes are getting me excited though. You get to hear my live reaction. Never got to hear that before in uh, past previous uh, seasons and leagues and stuff. So hope you all are uh, enjoying it. So another option he could do is switch out. Oh, no, he stays in. Okay, well, this, I think, should knock it out. A max attack. Yep, that's gone. So Togekiss is out of here. Very nice, very nice. Putting in the work with the Arcanine. So I assume now he would go into, uh, hmm, Meteor City. That's, uh, okay, that's going to be the... Uh, this guy. Hmm. Okay. So what are my options here? We got we got time. We got time. Um, I don't know if I want to go hard. So I definitely want to get damage on this thing, right? Damage on this uh, on this thing is gonna be really good. I don't think I need Arcanine for anything else now. So I think probably my best play is just going for the Flare Blitz here, just to get as much damage as I can, right? And then um, perhaps. You know, we can see what we can do after that. But I think getting off damage on this is going to be the play uh, here. So I'm going to Flare Blitz. Because I could also go to Scavalier, but I don't think it's worth it. Probably live a, a Poison from this thing too. So I, I might be able to get two hits off. Which would be very, very clean. I've never faced a G-Max uh, Garbodor before, so we'll see what it does. I looked at his last set, which was uh, AV with four attacks. Um, four good attacks, though, but we'll see what happens here. I will Flare Blitz, get some damage off. That's good damage. Oh, he's weak? Ooh, weak armor. That will boost his speed. Max Rockfall, okay. Um, that's fine, I think. He gets up a Sandstorm. Um, hmm. So Rockfall. Okay, so he's a speed boosting set. His defense is now uh, lowered. He's also Black Sludge. Okay. 
Good information. Very good information. Uh, what do we do here? So Rockfall actually is going to be bad versus Rhyme. I think we still go Drill. I definitely think we still go into Excadrill here. We should not get knocked out by one hit from it. Our play would either be to knock off or counter. I do kind of like knock off just because of the fact that uh, it gets rid of his black sludge. He takes sand chip damage from then on. And I think it's more safe than counter. Yeah, I think we knock off here. Get rid of his item. He's minus one defense too, so he'll be fast, but we do have sucker punch. Keep in mind. We do have sucker punch on Grim. And a weakness policy on Atsuki. <laughs> that might be kind of fun. Rockfall shouldn't do much at all, I think. He's not um, attack boosted. Oh, that is actually a lot. But we get a lot of damage off on this, which is great. Um, get rid of his item here. And then get a little bit of chip. But that's a really cool set. So yeah, I am just going to um, sack this thing here. I think I don't have a choice. I didn't know it got a uh, rockfall. I knew we had like uh, the grass move, like seed bomb or something. Um, poison move, which is its signature. And then I think I got like a ground move, like stomping tantrum or something. So my play here is, I mean, I I could <laughs> I could potentially knock it out with uh, with a mock punch. But I think my best or better play is going into uh, Grimmsnarl. He, if he has sub, he can't go for it because he'll die to Sandstorm. So I think we go into our uh, good knight here. A Sucker Punch will definitely take it out. And his Dynamax is gone, or his Gigantamax, I should say, is gone. Uh, our play is to Sucker Punch here, I think. We Sucker Punch and then we uh, Gigantamax and attack the rest of his team, I I'm pretty sure. And he, he can't really switch out and gain any benefit from it just because of Stealth Rocks. So this should be okay. At least that's what I tell myself. It's been a pretty solid game. So we Sucker Punch here. If he has Aftermath, we'll take a little bit of Chip though. Um, does he have aftermath? Oh no, sorry, it was weak armor. My bad. See, that's this is the thing, right? <laughs> I'm doing live comp. I can't even keep a track. It's another envy moment right here, guys. But I I caught it before you all could comment. He was weak armor. I know that. Not aftermath. Hope you all like my uh, my shiny grim snarl here. I hunted about three hundred times for this thing. It was very, very difficult to find. Cerberus, that's going to be the Hydreigon. Uh, but at this point in time, at this point in time, we can go, oh, sorry, not Pokemon. I meant to go for fight. I was looking for my Gigantamax form, but I realized that it's this Pokemon right here. We can G-Max, Max Starfall. We have a weakness policy as well. It's about that time. Hit him up. Get big on him. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this thing. He fire blasts here. Not going to do much damage at all. And even if he like decided to burn me there, pretty sure Starfall and the other move will just knock it out and win. Got the Misty Terrain up as well. Nice, nice. So goodbye to Hydreigon. And then I think we... Pr uh, I don't know, depending on Hunter set, we'll see. But I think we win this game 3-0 as well. Um, really solid game. I guess with our team here. I didn't have much time to build at all. Uh, I was a little bit nervous going to this match just because I wasn't really confident in my team. Because I didn't have much time to build this week, but... Did well. It did pretty well. 
Hunter's in. It will take some uh, some chip, some nice chip damage. I don't know why he didn't go into this actually, but probably he was afraid of Sucker Punch. I do live a sludge wave, by the way, from this thing. So I'm going for the snooze. Sludge wave, we do live this. Wait, what? I don't live this. That's choice specs, I think. That looks like choice specs to me. That's why we didn't live. So, okay. Mmm. Mmm, that's tough. Uh, I think Mr. Rhyme can live, though. So another play I could have done was switch out and then preserve for Sucker Punch, but if you were sub, then that would have been a really bad play, I think. Uh, all right, Mr. Rhyme. Mr. Rhyme, buddy. Please. Please take this hit. I EV'd you expertly. Expertly EV'd. Yep, there we go. <laughs> nice. It's a 2-0, not a 3-0. But that thing is a huge threat. Uh, for sure, Hunter. He brought double double poison versus my Grimmsnarl. So you already know he was prepped for it. That's going to be GG. Uh, good game. GG, it's Envy. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this match. Uh, GG to Elliot, of course. And um, yeah, well played game. He brought a lot of uh, threats, for sure. I knew it was going to be a tricky matchup for Grimmsnarl when I saw the uh, the Hunter and Togekiss and stuff like that. Like I knew he had like a poison G-Max. Then, he, of course, he had a regular poison type as well. The nice double poison core. Um, both of which are faster naturally than Grimmsnarl. And then, you know, stuff like Togekiss is um, very bulky and can uh, nasty plot and do all kinds of stuff. But his, I think, was more defensive maybe. But um, but yeah, like, I knew it was going to be tough for Grimmsnarl. We still came through in the end. We sort of had to capitalize on, um, you know, sort of waiting for the right opportunity for him to Gigantamax first and then uh, try to eliminate some of the threats. Like, we, el el we eliminated a, a, a few months early on, which um, really helped out a lot by um, sort of outplaying that. Of course, our Chinese Seismitoad, putting in that work turn one, getting up those rocks. I knew his team was su super weak to rocks because I think he only has uh, Serena to rapid spin. Um, and that's it. So, yeah, that's going to be it from me, of course. Uh, be sure to check out my opponent. I'll be watching his game as well. Live comm, you already know. It's, that's the wave right now for Sword and Shield, putting in the work um, with uh, with our nice live commentary. That puts us at 2-0 in the season. Um, there's only eight weeks, so we're doing really well so far, I think. And as long as we just continue to win as much games as possible, we will uh, make it to playoffs and go from there. It's more difficult to make it to playoffs if you lose, like, I guess a few games because there's not many weeks uh, this season. I think next week we, we actually would have played Gator, but I think he dropped the league, unfortunately, um, due to some school stuff and some in-real-life stuff. Which, uh, which is unfortunate. I was kind of looking forward to playing him again. Um, but we face Joey, I think, week five. That's going to be a fun one, I'm sure, that you all want to see. And then Wolf later on. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, this is a great great time to play with friends and stuff in this league. And um, I enjoy it a lot. So, yep, look forward to uh, seeing uh, what goes on next week. Um, we'll, we'll get into that. And um, that's going to be it. So I'll see you all on the next video. And peace.